Hey guys, this is Chris with Affiliate Tuber, and today I'm going to do an Alter Storage review for you guys. And this is an amazing product, especially if you don't know how to build a, a website or if you don't want to learn WordPress or any other kind of software that requires HTML, PHP, and all that other confusing stuff. Now, you can get full details of this product, including pricing, upsells, one time offers, demos, and even some exclusive bonuses by visiting the link directly under this video, which will take you to my website. So be sure to click that link and check it out before you go buy this product so you can also get access to some other really cool tools. There's also a link under here where you can subscribe to my vidsociety.com newsletter and get updates on video marketing and affiliate marketing. Okay, so let's talk about Alter Stores. So, first of all, this is a web based app. Okay, so it's not something that you are going to need to download and install. It's just available. You log in and it allows you to create affiliate based stores that let you import products from four of the biggest online stores, such as Amazon, eBay, Walmart, and Best Buy. So, you guys have probably seen these types of websites out there before that allows you to compare products and pricing and that's exactly what this does except on a much higher level so let me go over just some of the features with it here and then you're going to see a full demo the demo is like 20 minutes long and if you guys don't want uh, you know to watch that demo you're more than welcome to go ahead and go straight to my website where you can get the links to check out the sales page and all that other stuff uh, just by visiting the link under this video but the first feature that's really nice about this product is that there's a price drop availability notification system. So basically, if they find a product on your store that you've added that they think is too expensive, they can enter their email address, which does two things. Number one, it helps you to build your own list, uh, which is great for marketing too. And second, it will automatically notify them if there's a price drop, which can result in a sale and bringing them back to your site again. So number two is the price comparison technology, which is great. People, th this is what they want. They want to compare prices. They want to know who has the best price. And it does this automatically for you uh, by always uh, checking these prices and putting the latest prices on here for them to see, to compare. And then all they have to do is click the button, which automatically integrates with your affiliate link. And if they buy it, you get commission for it. It has social syndication price drop notification. So basically, not only can you auto post to Facebook and Twitter when you import a new product, but in the world's first, you can auto post to Facebook and Twitter when the price drops for that product or when it's back in stock. Uh, and it's great because for one, you don't need any, any hosting to do this with. It's all done web-based, so you don't need a hosting account. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't need WordPress or any other type of tool. Uh, you can use their free store, which is called My Store dot alter stores uh, for your store or you can use your own domain name which is what I recommend if you're really serious about your website is to set this up by your own domain name go to like name silo.com name one of those places you know spend less than ten dollars get you a nice domain name so you can brand your store um, for all of the products you're going to be promoting okay next is it has a live search feature and this is really neat uh, because if they can't find what they want, they can search for it. And what it's going to do is automatically find these products from these other stores and add them to your store. So it doesn't matter what they're looking for. They're still going to be able to find it, even if you don't have it currently listed on your store. You have advanced customization and control. Uh, there's live search features. There's a wish list portal. You guys have seen this before. They have these on Amazon, you know, where you can uh, set up a wish list to get products and there's all different kinds of other features included with that such as video content curating so it's going to make your site uh, more unique by importing video content a custom internal product search you can quickly search top selling products on Amazon, eBay, Walmart and Best Buy and automatically just import them to your store it'll create the page, it'll set up your affiliate link with everything you can bulk import thousands of products at once uh, that will automate, that will automatically import them along with the price comparison, uh, price auto scaling, so where you're always going to have the most up to date price. It's going to constantly check for prices and make sure they're always up to date. And there's also built in analytics you can use if you want to integrate with Google or Facebook. 
and you can customize it so it's not one of these types of sites where everything's under control by them and you can't do anything it actually has a lot of customization options where uh, there's a landing page slider you can add as much as many content pages as you want there's different widgets you can use there's links for social footer pages customizing the main link, uh, menu links photo banners all kinds of stuff that you can do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play this demo for you guys so you can see inside of Alter Stores what it is and how it works. And then afterwards you can check out the link under this video to go to my website where you can also learn about the discounted pricing that you can get if you buy it early. Uh, if there's any coupons available you'll learn about the upsells and their pricing. Um, some bonuses I'm going to be offering if you guys pick this up through my website that will help to complement this product. Artistore. Imagine being able to set up a stunning looking e-com store just like what you can see with new arrivals of products shown and of course with a splash of icons of sales of product and products that are already out of stock. Scrolling down you could have a professional looking banners just like you can see it here and of course you could see latest product, the most viewed product, the most selling product all listed on your e-com store. And scrolling below you could have your uh, social icons as well as the contact of details all the custom links of course top categories and uh, more custom information are based on the pages which you've set up so Arthur store gives you a one-click setup of an e-com store that allows you to display products across four affiliate e-com stores which are Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart and eBay so that's quite stunning allowing you to sell your product uh, most professionally connected stores All right so if you have a product like this right as we can see from the screen and you just hit on view product and I'll see what happens on view product with art store you have all of these stunning features where one could just choose to buy this product directly from the shown store which is Walmart but if the person chooses to get this product from another store which you've connected to which you have the price recommendation right here from eBay as a store the person could just use your e-com store as a research platform that allows him or her to compare a particular product price from one store to the other so the user could choose to come over to eBay to make the outright purchase of this particular product if the price comparison is favorable from one store to the other so that is the only feature you can get with art store another wonderful feature you could get with art store is what we call the price drop a lot so once a user clicks on this a user could be notified once it provides his email address and state a particular price say i want a price drop to be notified once this price drop to sell 27 dollars i want to get notified once it hit summit and that's it so the user has a lot successfully created so a user could also choose to add a given product to a wish list and once it comes down here it says uh, get instant notification on product stock status and any price changes so when a user does hit on this too his our email address is also uh, listed into the alert system which notifies the user on this particular product when there are uh, stock changes or when there are price changes for this particular product to allow the user to make his buy decision so you could see all of the wonderful uh, provisions or uh, features that comes along with our uh, art store because with art store you get to see your description of course there are reviews for a product you also get to see what other customers are saying about this particular product which affords your buyers the opportunity for them to make a wise decision or the best decision for a product before they go ahead to take the buying decision now something that also you have with auto store alone is that you could get to know what your customers are searching about so let's say we are looking for shoes and we come to use our live search it's like this so uh, you get to see all shoes shown across our um, if we are getting from amazon from ebay uh, you could of course get from our uh, Walmart. Now look at this carefully. You notice that it's about uh, the same uh, kind of shoes shown across here. So a user could make his buy decision either to buy from Walmart or to buy from eBay 
or want to go with Amazon. Now if you scroll down, you get to see some more shoes collection. All of these shoes are practically the same shoe uh, item that you can see that we have price variation from one store to the other. So this really gives you the beauty of using auto store to set up your next e-com store out there so if you scroll down you get to see our more product so that's the best future which you can also get with auto store and everything that is done here on your front view web art store you can view it from the admin end here you could see the total product setup you could see the total views you could see the total clicks on each product and coming below here you could see the shoe which we type here you get to see all recommended keywords based on search by your customer so this also gives you insight as to what your customers are looking for right from the dashboard you could get to know what products you should make available to your front end or web view store so you could see all of these are key words or key phrases of products which customers are looking out for and if you scroll down from the back end you get to see the most click products with their our images and of course the uh, product title the number of clicks and you can go ahead to view the product right on your page as you scroll down you get to see all of these are uh, products collection and uh, right here on the dashboard you can see the search product functionality menu you could also get to see the top selling products across amazon walmart ebay and Best Buy. as you scroll down you also get to see products or uh, uh, menu items which gives you access to all products all categories and how to uh, uh, get to view your product import queue status and of course you can see the analytics the top searches your live searches the customer lives as well and on your online store you get to see the view store the teams and your logo as well as sliders and your settings as well you get to see uh, your general settings your api keys and your notification of course you have tutorials that comes along with your artist tools so that's the dashboard we want to see how we can together set up uh, a fresh store together and see uh, how we go about the onboarding process of creating your first store using art stocks so once you get logged in for the first time you're required to choose the brand name so a brand name could just be one store and of course you need to choose your store subdomain so our store subdomain could also take out our brand name and we call this one store or whatever you want to call it and we hit create store and notice here they have my artistores.com which will take that okay we said uh, this is already taken so we can now come over and choose something else we could just call this one shop and we call this again one shop right so once done we hit and create stall great so we've successfully created our new stall our dashboard for solve uh, because we'll create automatically set up our web store as well so at this point here you notice that you have total product zero total product view zero or total click zeros as well and at this point you are told that you have to wait for 5 to 15 minutes for your site to be up in your choice of domain that has been created so before you get your products imported you need to do a few setup flow which has to come down to settings on the settings you come down to api keys and on api keys you're expected to provide your amazon api key your ebay api keys as well as your walmart and best buy so i have a couple of them which will together provide this so i'm copying a couple of these and providing it down here this is my access key so i'll just go ahead fill up all of these details and close it up so once done filling all of these uh, parameter requirement, you scroll down and hit and save. Right, so we have that API keys saved successfully. So what else we're going to do right now is come straight here to our search product. But if you come down to search product, you will notice that you'll be required to organize your product which you'll be importing into categories. So to do so, we'll have to come down to products and other products we go to categories. So in categories, we want to come down straight here and say add category. And on category, we want to call this font. So we could just call this fonts. And we hit save. Uh, we could also come down, create another category, which we call uh, shoes. So we have this is shoes. We save it there. So we could have another category as apparel. We could just say apparel. 
and uh, you can uh, and save. So we've created three categories now, which you could call, go over to your search products and import products into them. So on the search product here, all you need to do, you can choose to select from categories or you choose all categories. You can choose to select from keywords or to using a specific product uh, as QU. So let's say we are searching products so, and we're going with shoes. Then you have order, you can order low to high, high to low, best match, highest customer rating, new express and best seller. And if you're importing, you want to import this into shoes category. So we hit on search. Right, great. So see that uh, search has returned a whole lot of results here. So we can see all these results shown here. I can come down here, select a couple of shoes which I want to import into my store and uh, straight up we have such shoes imported. So let's say we are okay with that five we are working with right now. All you have to do is scroll back up and hit on import selected. And you have are you sure you want to put selected and say confirm? Alright, so that's great. So what else we can do is to come over and see down here it shows all your products are pending, the status are processing so automatically auto store server will handle all of these and get the product imported into your store. Again we can go over to search products. So let's say this time we want to search using Walmart. We come down to Walmart, same also applies here, you select all products or okay, keywords. And I could come down here to say clocks. Alright, and we want to categorize this into apparel. So we search it up. Alright, great. So we have results returned here. So once you scroll down, you can also find a couple of photos you want. And uh, of course, you could sort this by best match or low to high. And it does the sorting for you once you hit and search again. Alright, so scrolling down here, right here we have uh, some good clothes collections here. So you could select the number of them which you want to sell down here. Let's see some more photos you can get. All right, great. So you can just walk with this view. You could select it, and all you need to do is come down and hit on import selected. The same process also applies to confirm that. All right, so photos added to queue. Again, we can now come over and say, okay, at this time, let's search uh, some product from eBay and we want to use fonts. So we can say fonts and we have uh, to categorize this into fonts and we can search it. So the fonts here, we have our result return here. So we just come down here, select a couple of fonts which we want to work with and see those which you want to pick from. So we we'll select a couple of fonts right down here. And see how you can have them installed. So select this view. All you need to do go over again and hit on import selected and you can find. So we have products added to queue. So so far let's see if there are products that have successfully uh, gotten imported into our store. So so far we have one of one to three showing of products that have successfully been published so we can see them here we have three products that are published and we have other products still in the queue which are being processed all right so that's it so coming back to all your products which you have processed right here and published you can come over to the hidden view you can view the product on your store let's go view it here and you can also come over to edit the product in here Right, so editing the product in here, you could see the product title, you could see our editor here that allows you to arrange the description the way you want it. And of course, you could change our, our status from publish to drop if you're still working on it. You could also choose to switch the categories, you could add tags here, you could add pricing. And something interesting here is that our system automatically picks a video review for a particular product for you. That's crazy. That's something you can only get with my art stores. So going down here, you see all the related images here and you could set any of the images as future automatically the system set this as future. So that's how interesting my art store is. So coming back to view that product on your store. Can you see it here? So you can see view this particular product. You can see the title in there and of course we can compare this product with our other products on eBay. We have that's a shoe on eBay which you can see as well.
So scrolling down, you see all the details provided by this product. So this really shows how awesome our auto store setup is. So going back to our admin dashboard where we are doing our entire setup, we come down now to our online store. So online store allows you to view your store right on. We've already checked the product from our online store. So once you look at Teams, Teams affords you an opportunity to pick a particular storefront which you want to use in representing your product. So if you scroll down here, you could see that we have our modern e-commerce, elegant e-commerce. We also have our classic e-commerce and scrolling down, you could see there that we have our, what again we call the Bursa e-commerce, the fresh e-commerce, which you can select from and you have the glamour e-commerce. And down here you have the uh, not minimalized e-commerce and athletic e-commerce which you could uh, select from so let's look at this and see if there's anyone which you would want to switch to and see how it looks like which can we directly use now okay let's say we are to work with what we have here uh, let's go with classic and see how classic looks for us so coming down to classic all you need to do is hit and switch team and that team becomes your current team which you use and if you want to customize something further from this team once it becomes your active team you could see the gear icon here all you need to do click on the gear icon and it takes you right down to set your uh, supported home slider if you added a home slider you could see it here or if you've not done so it will allow you to click here which will take you to the same menu link where you have the sliders here and you could also come down here to add banners you have the banner option here 270 by 420 banner you also have the banner number 3 270 by 270 that allows the stuff one to look stunning and you have banner number 3 which is 270 by 270 and banner number 4 which is 270 by 270 and once you're done with all of that you now have to set up your social links your facebook social links where you can allow your customers to get connected to the social platforms so you can do all of those so once you're done with that you can come down here to logo and set up your logo right here you see your logo recommendation 142 by 42 you can, uh, select your logo and upload it once you do so you can also come down here and view the sliders which we talked about so on the sliders which we talked about you can just come down here add a new slider you have to give the slider title name so we just call this one shop I call it one shop and once you save it it takes you to the page where you can add your images once you keep an add slide it takes you to the provision where you can add the image or you can select it as image type and you could choose a file or you can just add an image url and hit save here and that will go into your slider title so on the sliders you can see all of this which is added still within our online store branding here you also have pages which allows you to add your custom pages and of course you can see other pages listed here your about us page the counter space the live search page the privacy policy the terms and conditions and of course you could choose to come hit an add page add a new page and you could see your data here it allows you to display your page however you want it so that's what you get with our page setup so pages here you have the navigation so navigation allows you to set your menus the way you want them to be so you can come down here which is the main menu hit on edit to edit around your main menu your main menu comes in default you come shop you can see what goes in your shop and you can see live search about us now within your categories if you want to make your categories which you added to become a menu you can just come down here and see add apparel or add shoes and add them to menu and they fall into your menu collections here and of course you can come down to order your uh, menus here so once you click on this you drag it and of course you can drag this to become a sub menu of shop same thing also applies if you drag it to become a sub menu of apparel or you can take it out and it becomes the main menu of this one and drag it in here once you're done doing all of that you just come back and save so once you hit save you can at this point go over to view your store if you are done with all the branding so we just want to open this store and just preview how it can look like so if you are done adding all of this information your image will come up here which is a slider image 
and you have all this other banner comes up here you can see the title page which is tons of free shopping gear and uh, depending on your product features you can find them here and shown here as well and scrolling down you can see the products which you already got in and you can see other products listed by the bar side here so this really shows you how stunning creating a new store with our auto store is uh, really a great tool which you don't have to uh, turn down on so back to a dashboard here something interesting again with our store is within the notification settings and general settings you get to see the entire stock setup here you can see a uh, setup name you could also apply your store email you could set your currency which you want to work with you could also set what our store uh, which currency should override any of the given stores there now if you come down to your notifications here you find something interesting again uh, uh, right here you could enable email alert for subscribers so once you do that you could also set the SMTP settings if you don't want to uh, work with the uh, custom default mail server and you could also share on Facebook where the new product is published you can get this enabled you could also share on Twitter where the new product is published you could share on Facebook when the new product price drops you could also share on Twitter when the new price drops so to get you that all of that done you need to come down here and log in with Facebook for the first time when you log in with Facebook it allows you to authenticate with your Facebook so you can continue like this and you can go ahead select which of the store our page you want to associate with your account so if you do this you, all you need to do is come down and select next from selecting next you set done and you can get your page connected so say you've now linked all the stores to facebook you now set up so right here you got a notification logged into fb successfully and if you scroll down here you can see this is the page already connected to your facebook you could also do same with your twitter you need to log into twitter as well so on twitter you also need to authorize the app so once you authorize the app it redirects so once you redirect it logging into twitter successfully so once you scroll down here you notice that all your account are connected successfully so at this point you could now come over to turn on this notification just like shown before meaning you can share on twitter as well as on facebook when there are new price updates I can also come down here to enable this so once you turn setting all of these all you need to do is hit and save all right so we have set and save successfully so you can also come down here and hit on save so whatever happens whatever product you import going forward that will be shared on your facebook page as well so let's come over again and see all our products and see how many products we've imported so far so so far we have uh, showing one to ten products imported so far so right here you can confirm that this is one of our shirt we imported uh some seconds ago and because we turn on our facebook notification right here on facebook you can see on the page which we got it activated just now from artistos says a uh, run neck trip color t-shirt casual around sale showing up here and you have the image here. once clicked on it it redirects to the page on our auto store yeah you could make your purchases right here you could see and uh, right here on facebook a user could also uh, make uh, some further interactions and connect with it but back to our store here you see right here you can see the description and if you click on review you could see the review video of this particular shirt that only art store provides you something also offers here with twitter on twitter you can see just two minutes ago it was posted about this sleeve and once you click on it it brings you to our storefront on art store so that's how wonderful you can set up an e-com store across four major affiliate networks which you can continually make good commissions from affiliate marketing. So that's great with my art stores. Thank you very much for staying good.